So somebody asked me for an update on the tractors, and I can do that. The 790 here, it's got the brush hog on it right now. I just drove this down here tonight. Here's the quick hitch I put on it. The only thing my complaint about these quick hitches are these latches will vibrate out like this. This is just like a safety latch, stop this from coming up, but other than that, I think they're great. The roof leak in here too. Probably the roof leaks down here. It's awesome. Oh yeah, dripping on my tire right here. Great. I'm gonna fix the roof. Parked under a roof and it's still raining under here. Go figure. Alright. So I drove the 790 down here tonight and I'm gonna do a final flush on the front axle there. It's it's been working great. Uh, I brush hog at least eight acres with it and no problems. It was in four-wheel drive most of the time. The repair is holding up great. Everything went smoothly and uh, I never did drain the entire axle. I only drained this hub here. So I only added, I don't know, I don't even know if I added a full quart of oil to it. I guess I did. So the front differential and the other hub still have the original oil probably from when this tractor was new. So, now that I've got some hours on this since I did the repair, I am going to drive it around some more, heat it up as much as you can heat up the oil in the front axle, I suppose. And uh, I have the drain pan under here, and I'm going to let the differential and both final drives completely drain out, and I've got some nice John Deere oil to put back in there. So that's about as far as we go on this. I mean, otherwise, it's running great, and it's, I don't know, there's nothing wrong with it now. It's where it should be, I guess. So, uh, yeah, here's the mower deck for the 650. There's nothing wrong with that now. It's all fixed. It's just kind of awkward to use. Let's head up to the shed, and we'll, we'll want to see the 650. So we'll go up there, and we'll fire it up. Well, I'm not going outside tonight, obviously, as you can hear the rain just absolutely hammering an old tin roof out here. Uh, somebody wanted to see an update of the 650. I don't know what you want to see about the 650. You want to see it out in the field hooked to the brush hog. You want to see it pulling the seven foot wood back blade, which it does, it impressed me. When the 790 went down, I hooked the seven foot wood brush hog, or brush hog back blade to it and I can fill that blade in this little tractor I'll just pull it right along and these tires are dry there's nothing in them I have no wheel weights it weighs 1550 pounds I believe 16 horse and it'll give you all of that 16 horse to the ground no problem fantastic little tractor I've only had two issues with it since I've owned it and I think I bought it I put a video up on YouTube when I bought it. I think I've owned this tractor since January 2010. I think it's when I bought it. 2009 or 2010. Somewhere in there. And uh, it's had one problem since I bought it that I've never fixed, but it's never given me too much grief. And that's uh, the lift cylinder for the rock shaft is weak and it needs to be rebuilt. I think the O-ring for the piston's torn. Because it, it sets down when the tractor isn't running. Not real fast, but you can hear it clicking and it'll eventually go down. That's really the only problem it's had since I bought it. Uh, the other problem it had that I did make a video on was the shifter fork for four wheel drive, which is at the bottom of this lever here, snap. So this tractor had to be split because that was the only way to fix it. And at the time, I didn't have the tools or the, I guess I didn't have the ambition. The ambition or the tools to really do a proper job splitting the tractor and doing it myself. So I paid a mechanic to do it. And that $20 part cost me many, many times what it should have. Looking back now, I was foolish to bring it to a shop, but it is what it is. Uh, let's fire it up real quick. I have the keys. But uh, I'm not going to drive it in this rain. It's, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night, I guess. 
I drove it up here tonight, so it's not really a cold start. It's still wet from me driving it up. It's a very old school tractor, built in 1982, I believe. Built in Osaka, Japan, by Yanmar, the whole tractor. Very, very simple. No power steering, no thrills, nothing really to break. Very easy to maintain. And it'll give you everything it's got to give. I can't believe the amount of work this little tractor will do. So, I don't know. What do you want to see it doing? You want to see it brush hogging? You want to see it pulling something? I don't care. I'll get it out there. You want to see the 790 work? And I can do that too. That's all fixed. And I've just got to change the oil in the front axle. I can do another video on the 110. That's that's a good mowing tractor right there. I use it almost weekly. It's hooked to the number 80 cart right now. Been using it for uh, moving stuff around, branches and stuff out in the yard. Uh, over here, I've got the old 140 hooked to the blade. The 70, 72 140 isn't here right now. That's the restored one. But I still got it. And over there is the 63 Cub Cadet. Still runs like a top, but the transmission still needs work. I never got around to fixing it. Oh, there it sits. There's the mower deck. And I don't think I've ever showed this, but there is a rack I welded up. Bolts to the wall. The wall is actually reinforced there. And I made this rack specifically to hold snow canes. And I bet you there's over, it's probably about 150 pounds worth of snow chains hanging off that right now. It's made out of 3 8 round stock. It's all welded off, it's all braced off. I welded my name in it, everything. It uh, came out awesome and it does its job. It keeps them from getting tangled up. I don't know how many sets I got on there. I think I got two sets on there, so that's working out awesome. 